And I paint big. So I have two big paintings here that I've put up. Um, and this one is one times one meter, which is uh, like 3.5 feet. Don't know the inch. What is that? Is that 48 inch maybe? 48 by 48 inch. Could that be right? I should have checked that before. It's one times one meter at least. Um, so uh, when I'm going big, because this is a small one uh, for me, uh, and when I'm going big, when I'm kind of doing something that is one times one meter, you see, it's not, it, it might just be the double size in, in, um, in length. So if I do this one, which is 40 centimeters, uh, if I double that length and do one that is 80, uh, that makes the surface that I'm working on four times that size. So when you, when you do something that is a little bit bigger, the surface becomes quite a lot bigger. And this is something that I have a hard time to really realize in my head actually. Um, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you will see when I walk up to the canvas back there, you will see how big it is. Uh, I will walk right up to it and you will see it's, it's uh, really big. But, um, and, and that's, it's, it's something that makes uh, kind of a big difference in when we're painting. So it's not, not just double as big, if it's double as long along a side, it is actually four times. You can put four of these small ones into something that has a side that is the double which is obviously, but when we think about it, when we kind of think, ah, oh, go a little bit bigger, we don't realize that it might be four times bigger than what we actually are used to. And that makes a big difference when we paint big. Uh, so for example, this one might even be, it's more than four times. This might be six times bigger than this big one here is six times bigger than this one. Um, so that's just a, I'll put this away. That's just uh, something that's good to have in mind when we go bigger. Because sometimes we kind of go bigger and we feel, oh, I can't do this. It was so hard. Uh, and it might just be that it just takes a, a longer time. So for example, collage takes if you do a, a bigger painting, it might take four or six times the time to actually do the collage, which is a big difference. So on this one back here, which when I stand against it, you can see how big it is. I can't even reach the top of it. Uh, it takes a long time to do the collage. The collage takes really long time to draw on it and to uh, paint on it doesn't take as long, but to make the collage takes a massive amount of time. So just have that in mind when we start. Well, I might miss, we'll see if there were some questions here because oh, I can scroll, good. Oh, that's good. Then I can see the questions afterwards as well, I guess. Um, yeah, so, so that's, that's one of the things. And then when we, when we work on a big surface, it's, if we use exactly the same papers, the same mark, the same tools, uh, we just kind of extend what we are doing. If we want to create a similar kind of feel, but in a bigger format, the marks needs to be bigger in the scale of, of uh, what we are doing to get the same kind of impression. Uh, and one of the reasons is that you have to, to look at something that is bigger, quite often you walk a little bit further back and then you might not see the details. 
then you can walk up and see the details as well which is really cool on a big one that there is different experiences when you are further away than closer so and and i'm still not talking about you guys having to do something super big but i think that this painting will give you a little bit of a thought when you are going just maybe the double size from what you are doing because it does it does apply to that as well this is an extreme so you will you will um, it's easier to explain it so it takes longer time it's it's six times bigger this one is six times bigger than the little one maybe i should have the little one here to continue okay so that's one thing it takes longer and um when i do um uh, the collage i therefore often use bigger pieces of paper because that takes a little bit um uh, less time to put big pieces on than to uh, cover it with the same small pieces and to get big marks on I for the big painting I use big tools so I have a big palette knife and I have big a big um, um, brush on an edge I love these kind of brushes uh, I have even bigger brushes and I have a big spatula from the kitchen and another big palette knife because I love palette knife and I have one of these big uh, buildings I think it's I don't really know what they're called those in English uh, but so big tools longer time more movement more energy put into it so that is one of the reasons why it can feel a little bit overwhelming if you're not prepared of it being longer bigger um, in that sense maybe you just think that it's the similar but just a little bit bigger but it isn't it's it's a different energy actually